They're smelling, they're tasting, and taking notes. This team of professional tasters met behind locked doors in Jordan's sensory analysis lab to determine which olive oil producer submitted the best tasting sample. Now this is the fourth sample and they are all extra version. They all have really a lot of positive, positive aspects. Um, I think it's going to be very difficult to decide which is number one. A chemical analysis conducted on samples collected from producers from Lebanon, Libya, Saudi Arabia, Syria and Jordan deemed all met the criteria for extra virgin olive oil. Judges certified by the International Olive Council put their sense of smell and taste to work for the sensory analysis portion of the competition. It has no defects, of course, so I'm going to have a sip and a taste. Samples are assigned a code number and served in dark glass to prevent the judges from being influenced by the oil's color. Professional taster Salma Mograbi says in this line of work, the nose knows. If the oil is good, you, you feel it from the nose first. And this is makes, you, makes you want to try it. If, if the nose tells you it's not good, you don't try it. You don't taste it. Of course, the competitors all claim their oil is the best. If you see the characteristic of the oil when you taste it, it should be, have a little taste of fruity. And the Lebanese olive oil has this special taste, the fruity taste. The smell of it, I don't say perfume, but it's stronger than that. The taste, sweet, no, it's a sweetness. Very low fats. Uh, zero protein, uh, no sodium, uh, uh, high in calcium, low acidity, very low acidity, and low oxidation. But in this contest, the judges have the final say. The results announced at a special ceremony at the King Hussein Club recognize Ziad Jaber of Jordan's Jaber Farms as the first place winner. When asked if the award means more than just bragging rights, the winner replied, Certainly with respect to marketing, especially right now because people outside of Jordan are big fans of anything organic. Jobber Farms hopes to be certified as organic this fall. Second place honors went to Mount of Green Olives out of Ramallah. We had uh, two great uh, samples uh, bringing into this competition and we were hoping to get one and two and we get number two. It was, it's, it's good enough. Former producer Fayed El Zoud is trying to look on the positive side after capturing third place for the second time in a row. That's mean. We keep our quality is the same. That's me, we keep our promise to our customers that they have the same taste, the same oil they used to have. El Zoud, who purchased this olive tree farm in the desert five years ago for his family, hopes to see a return on his investment this fall. In the meantime, he says the party's on following his win in the olive oil tasting competition. So will there be a lot of celebrating on the farm this weekend? Oh, must be. They start already, so. <laughs> Reporting from Amman, Jordan, I'm Amy Hybels for CNN.